It's so much you can do to one specific sound. So you fall in love with the sound, you use the sound, but you can go back to that same sound and you can turn it to a whole nother sound, to something totally different. What's going on? I go by the name of Dim Joints, multi-platinum producer, songwriter, Grammy Award winning situation and all that. You know what I mean? Produced from artists ranging from Dr. Dre to Kanye West to Rihanna to, to you name it, man. Fun fact, I used to rap back in the day, right? But uh, we couldn't find producers to produce beats for us. So I was just like, why don't I take a stab at it? I was already like musically inclined, grew up in the church, you know, producing. I grew up in the church playing drums, you know what I mean? And once I start producing, I actually fell in love more than, you know, than, than actually rapping. Already. The beats are already done, dog. I mean, come on. I got put on the pigments, and the first thing that came to my head was just like, yo, I just want to start creating. So I started just listening to sounds. As soon as I went into the sound library, the, all the sounds in here is fire. The, from the first sound, probably, I was just like, you know what? I like that. I'll make a beat. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through the sounds. I'm not even looking at the features in terms of what you can do to the sounds, because you could actually take a sound and turn it into a whole nother sound, right? So for an example, in here, this is, this could be a whole lot. So once, you know, I, I get more like jiggy with pigments and I'll be able to go into each different situation and situate situations, you know what I'm saying? But in between time, say for play, it kind of simplifies things. So gives you like maybe one, two, three, four, five different ways. And what I like about this here is once I go ahead and manipulate the sound on these individual time, these individual sections, I can still manipulate it overall here. So let's try utility. Chances are I'm gonna come with something dope regardless. Cause I'm not the type that's gonna read the manuals and all that. I wanna get right into it and start creating. I'm sure there's a lot of other creators that feel the same way. As we go, look at this. One to two of the features I love on the pigments is the unison and how the unison, uh, one of the features is the, the voice uh, situation. So say for an example, it's one synthesizer. You can turn this synthesizer into like eight to 12 different voices of the same synthesizer in unison. Or you can turn it right back to its original and then warp that into some other shit. It's, it's insane. Like, I don't know, the, it, the shit isn't, I'm speechless. So I just changed the distortion. I went to super unison. They got a whole nother shit in here that you can, the voices, detune, the frequency change. And you can stereo widen it. We in the game, dog. So you can go into this whole window, open up the window, and look for the type of instrument you want. Let's go for a bass.
right now I am in the reverb presets and it's a slight situation, but it's crazy how you can like size it up, the pre-delay, the EQ, the EQ in the reverb, not the actual sound, the pre, that's crazy. It already comes with the sound widened, but you can mono it out if you want. Woo, we'll keep it, we'll keep it open like that. How do you do that with any other plugin? That's that's probably like 12 plugins to create what that does with just turning an knob. It's crazy. Spending too much time on these sounds because you'll mess around and get lost. And you'll spend so much time on sound design and forget that you was making a beat. And we're gonna create jams. We're gonna continue to, you know what I'm saying, provide the community with jams on jams. And I appreciate Pigments, you know what I mean, for inspiring me to create way more jams because them sounds is crazy. We're going in on the go in. Stay tuned to what's next.